Okay, now that we have created a channel, we've uploaded a trigger image and an overlay, now we can move on to creating auras. So I'm going to go over here to the right and click the A, and it says auras underneath it. And just like before, we're going to click add, and this will bring up the new aura screen. It takes you to the overlay, but I like to go up to aura details where I can name it. So let's do Erasma test. And I'll scroll down to pick any trigger image that I have uploaded. I know we uploaded some different ones earlier, but I'm just going to pick the BHS logo. That's our school district. And then select what channel I would like it on to. So we created a test channel earlier, so I'll go ahead and select that. And then close that out. You can add time restrictions if you would like to. So if you would like it to go from one date to another, then you may do that. Now I'm going to click the overlay that I want to go over top of it. So like before, I was we picked a picture or we picked, a, you can pick a video. So we'll just go ahead and pick a short video. And it will come up over top of it. Okay. Now down here in the properties is where you can add and make it interactive and do different things. So when the aura first comes up, it will be on top of the logo only. But if they double tap the screen, then it will go to full screen. I can switch it to where as soon as the overlay is started, it will go to full screen. That way you do not need the trigger image anymore. You can make it as soon as it's finished. Then it could go to a website loading the URL just by typing that in. And this is where you can make them interactive to add buttons if you would like to and make them do more things. But we'll talk about that in a different tutorial. Once I've uploaded my overlay and decided the properties that I want it to have, I just go ahead and click Save. It'll save and then I am done. I can X out of that. It will be here on the channel of tests. You can see it right here. Make sure it is there before you're done. And that is how you create an aura. So anyone that follows your test channel now or any channel that you make will now be able to view that aura.